I apologize in advance if the audio isn't what you're used to when I'm in my tight little studio back at home. But in any case, welcome to episode 89 of the Clarity Compressed podcast. Today, I am so happy to be coming at you from the city of brotherly love. Clarity can only really exist in the light of truth. Branding just isn't a tactic. It's a lifestyle change. Moment of clarity for this week, ready? If you do what you always did, then you get what you always got. Like my English grammar and diction, the point is, if you don't do something differently, then you're gonna get keep getting the same results. So if you're surprised or you're upset or discouraged that you're still getting the same results, well, it's probably because you're doing the same thing you've always done. So take a hard, honest look and see if you're doing what you always did, if that's the reason you're getting what you always got. Got it? See ya. I'm so excited for what he's gonna show me. Hurry up and show me Paul's pick. Yo, what's up? Paul's pick for this week is the book that I reference in the podcast later. It's The Power of Habit by Charles Duhigg, and the subtitle is What We Do, Why We Do, What We Do in Life and Business. And this book changed my perspective on so much. Uh, I know it seems a little big, but it is such an easy read, and it talks about the habits that govern and dictate what we do in our lives and how to identify them and break them. And they're much, much, much more pervasive than you think. So I suggest you read my pick for the week. I reference it in the podcast, The Power of Habit by Charles Duhigg. So I'm in Philly today. And for those of you who know me know this is my happy place. Philly is where I grew up. I was born here, I lived most of my life here. Um, well, I guess at this point, probably oh, not most of my life. Oh man, that's a, that's a reality check moment. I'm 40 years old. I left home when I was like 19, so dang. It's funny how the beginning stages of your life just become so cemented in who you are as a person. And obviously I've been able to stay connected. So I'm here, if you're not watching, I'm standing in front of Lincoln Financial Field. Right over there is Citizens Bank Park. I grew up uh, just a couple miles from this spot right here. And it's amazing how much it's changed, but myself, my parents, my, my four sisters at the time, the fifth one came later, but my four sisters, my parents, myself, all lived with my grandmother in this little house in Philly with one bathroom. It was probably, I don't know, 1,400 square feet, maybe. And it was just a mile or two down the road. And being here at age 40 just reminds me of how the journey winds and how the journey goes. And today I wanna to talk about going out and meeting people. Now, for those of you who are in business or those of you who are even just in college still or trying to build a business or aspiring to be a, um, you know, build a personal brand or some level of organization, I can't stress to you enough the importance of getting out of your area. So getting out of where you live, getting out of your day-to-day -day, um, relationships and work or in business or at home, it's just stepping out and going to meet some other people because when you begin to bounce your ideas, you begin to see these other perspectives, what happens is that your mind gets open and when you get out and you get away, you begin to think of things and see things from a different angle. When we're in our regular day, right, we see everything from the same lens every single day. You wake up and uh, one of my favorite books called The Power of Habit by Charles Duhigg, he talks about how much, how much we do in life is actually just predicated on habits that we have. So sorry for the noise in the back, doing a little construction over there, making the stadium ready for us to win the Super Bowl this year. But how much of your morning routine, your daily life, the conversations you have, the things you do at work, the thoughts that you have are really not because your brain is processing them, but because your brain has gotten into a habit loop where that's just what you do every day. And I know as you're listening to this, you can actually understand like, oh, I do the same things pretty much every day. And even the way you put on your socks, you brush your teeth, even the way you order your breakfast. Today, getting out of that, breaking the habits, getting out, getting away, meeting other people forces you to start to call some, we'll use a football metaphor, start to call some audibles in your head. Start to call, you know, oh well, I can't run that play because that person is now there, so now I have to respond differently. And when you begin to respond differently, 
your mind begins to open up to new ways of doing things. And we call that innovation. You've heard me say it before, innovation is a choice. It's not a magic ability. And going out and meeting people, I think ties really in, ties in very tightly with innovation because again, it forces you to think of things differently. It forces you to do things differently, hear new ideas, accept new ideas. If you follow, if you listen to the podcast, our episode back, um, man, whatever they're doing over there is loud and annoying. You've heard uh, uh, you have heard you saw a conversation with me and Dr. Nicole Lipkin, who actually is in Philly. She was talking about mental agility and how the ability to accept new ideas and process them without a bias and really say like, hey, is there something here I should consider, right? Again, that is part of getting out and meeting other people, bouncing ideas off other people, listening to other ideas. And it all starts with getting out, getting out getting away, going intentionally around other people. And I know for a lot of you, that might be a difficult thing. For me, I, I actually, you might be surprised to hear this, but I actually, personality-wise, like if you take a personality test, I benchmark as an introvert. Believe it or not, I benchmark as an introvert. And the reason that is, is because I recharge by being alone and being by myself. Being around people, I love it. I engage with people, you can tell I'm very personable. I enjoy meeting new people. I enjoy listening to new ideas. I get energized by that. But, but let me tell you, too much of that, and I start to break down really quick. I get, I get to be grumpy, Paul. And um, my wife will attest to this. When I get like around people too much, I just, I wanna withdraw. I wanna go like split wood and mow the lawn and do like things that don't involve any other people. That's how I recharge. So I know getting out and getting around other people might be exhausting, but that's okay. Just do it in controlled intervals and controlled bursts, but you have to do it. If you wanna grow, you have to expose yourself. It's not enough to watch and listen to podcasts, but nothing substitutes for being in person because just one moment of being in a place having a feeling and taking in the vibe of a room, observing someone's body language. It only sometimes takes one instance to change your perspective or to give you that next idea or to, to solidify an idea that you had or give you the motivation that it takes to actually go do something because you see somebody else doing something. It's one thing to see it online, it's another thing to see it in person. So today, I'm meeting with a group of dealers. I'm gonna be at the Comcast uh, Spotlight event here in Philly. We're going to Comcast Technology Center, which is supposed to be an amazing building. I'll try to get some footage and put it in here. But I'm here and I came in just for the day so that again, I could expose myself to new ideas, that I could meet other people and keep that pump primed, keep it going because there are a lot of people and a lot of things that depend on fresh ideas and fresh perspective. So it's not, it doesn't have to be a big jump. It doesn't all happen at once, just like everything in life. Don't sit at home and watch podcasts and watch influencers and check out their amazing life and see how they, you know, even things like this, oh, he's in Philly for the day or he's in the city for the day, that's awesome. Don't sit there and like take that in and put that on yourself like, well, if I don't do those things, then I can't do it because that's a lie. That actually is the lie of social media and the lie of the internet and the lie of other people's lives. And when you try to be like other people's lives, you just get disappointed and you get depressed and you feel like you're not good enough. Well, guess what? You can take a step forward today. Don't compare yourself to me. Don't compare yourself to other people on, online. Take a next step. Get out there and it's a baby step. Take one step forward toward meeting other people, exposing yourself to new ideas today. And guess what? Today's a day you can do it. Sometimes that means just going to the local Starbucks and striking up a conversation. I know that might be awkward, but it's easier than you think. Go to some place that other people like you hang out, strike up a conversation. You'll be very, very surprised at what might come of it. So that is it, episode 89. I am in an amazing mood today because it's a beautiful fall morning. It's like 50 degrees out here and I'm in Philly. I hope this podcast encourages you to go do something because if it doesn't, then I have failed. And I'm not about failing. I'm not doing all this to fail. So thanks for spending a few minutes with me here today. Have an amazing week and I'll see you on episode 90. Yeah.